Italy is, of course, known for its luxury brands, and that also expands into the boating business. We're here at Azimut Benetti, which is a luxury Italian boat maker, and uh, it's nestled in the hills here behind. We've got uh, an entire factory dedicated to the engineering and design of these amazing luxury liners here behind me. Some of the smaller boats and some of the larger boats, we're told, go for millions of dollars around the world. And uh, if you'll follow me, we're going to take a look inside the factory and have a look at how they're made. So Azimut was one of the first companies in the, in the marine industry to introduce uh, one process that uh, is called the vacuum infusion. Uh, it was imported, let's say, from uh, the Scandinavian countries that knew it years before. And uh, it's special about uh, the fact that uh, it allows you to get a laminate, which can be even thinner than the regular lamination and uh, with higher performances. Uh, what's the difference between a regular lamination, a standard lamination and a vacuum infusion? Uh, a regular lamination, it consists on a manual process, manual working. You stack all the different uh, plies of uh, uh, fiberglass with different orientation, well, with the orientation that you need to get to achieve a certain performance. So you stack one layer of fiberglass, you laminate manually. So you, disp you dispose the, 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 the resin uh, manually, then you stack another uh, ply, another layer, and then you resin again, and so on, up to the stack that you, that you want. Vacuum infusion is uh, uh, easier in a, in a certain way. It's just, it consists of uh, stacking all the fiberglass at one time. So you, put, you dispose all the layers with the orientation that you need, that you want, then you cover of course, this over over the mold, huh? and then you cover the stack, you cover the the, the, the layers with a peel of nylon. Then you uh, insert in the on the, over the nylon the different injection points uh, in function of the distribution of the resin that you want to to get. So you have to study before all the injection points, which is the best dis disposition of these of these injection points. At, at this time, you start injection inject the the resin and at the same time you are cr you're putting the the whole laminate under the pressure so you suck out the the air and uh, it's it's a it's a process that takes sometimes for a hole uh, 30 feet hole maybe um, eight hours the boat uh, is uh, will be the house of the customer for uh, several days uh, during his uh, life, for several uh, weeks during his life. And this house uh, will be moving inside the water. So you have to think about uh, all the equipment you have in uh, your house, but you have also to think that uh, you will move inside the water and uh, you will have the engine, you will have, you will have uh, uh, special equipment that make uh, this house moving inside uh, on the sea. When the boat is finished uh, here in Avigliana, we deliver it to Savona, where we test it in the sea. Each boat uh, uh, is tested in the sea. After that, uh, if it, it passed uh, all the tests, uh, we uh, deliver it uh, to the final customer. Seeing these monster yachts for the one-tenth of the one percent being made essentially out of fiberglass, which is called by some the next asbestos, fiberglass resin, which is full of uh, formaldehyde and is being radically controlled, PVC filler, which is made from uh, fossil fuels, and teak, which is essentially a blood timber that comes out of Burma. Um, the whole thing from start to finish seemed to me such a relic of another era of endless consumption by the idle rich. And, you know, you hate to say, come the revolution, you know who's going to get it first, but I just found it appalling. Now, I know there are very wealthy people in the world, but this just seemed too much.